so it looks really good definitely I kind of get that Miami Vice kind of like I you know in summer very tropical but I'm like up to no good <laughs> what's up it's Monica and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time visiting my channel my name is Monica and I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta and today's video is all about affordable pieces from Zara from Shopbop and from J Crew. so I got a little bit of everything but the majority of the pieces are from Zara these are pieces that um, we kind of shopped I say we because I do a shop with me Saturdays on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. It's on by Monty. Um, and some of the pieces that I featured in one of the shop with Monty Saturdays, um, I picked them up and I'm styling them. Some horrible, very disappointed. But for the most part, most of them are really good. I have to say I'm usually really good when it comes to picking out stuff. I feel like I pick them out and that's it. They work. Um, but <laughs> there's one particular item that I couldn't, I could not get it over my body and very disappointed. But anywho, before I go on a rant, if this is your first time, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video, especially if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion. My channel is truly about fashion. I do incorporate a lot of lifestyle. Um, I'm obsessed with home decor, so I share bits and pieces of my home and the decorating process. So you're in, if you're into modern homes, definitely subscribe. And then my vlogs are really fun. Um, I am, like I said, I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger, so I take you along, especially now that we're beginning to get out. Um, I'm vaccinated, so I have been going to a few events. So, you know, I um, take you guys along while I go to these different blogger events and all that good stuff and work and all that and, and, and shopping and yeah, I say shopping is buying supplies, so I'm a fashion blogger. Anywho, yes, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out my website, allbymonica.com, check me out on Instagram, all that good stuff. Like I was saying, let's jump into this video because this is a good one. I'm really showcasing about eight pieces from Zara and about 14 pieces in total that we're going to review. Um, and then obviously I incorporate, because this is a high-low channel, high-low luxury fashion channel. So I do incorporate my accessories, what I wear, my bags, my shoes, and then I throw in a little bit of pieces here and there to really emphasize and to, guys, to give you guys inspiration on really how to put these pieces together and how to style them. So I'm styling a lot of the pieces multiple ways to really give you, you know, some inspiration. So if you are in the market to kind of zhuzh up your spring wardrobe, then... This is definitely a video that you like. So, like the video. <laughs> like the video, guys. Let me know you're here. All that good stuff, because we want to engage. We want to make sure that, you know, YouTube allows other people to see these videos. I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of YouTube and the algorithm and all of that. So, I know we have to engage. I know we have to like. So, yes. First things first, makeup. I don't do a lot of makeup. I'm not really, a, I can do it, but I just, time, time is like such a precious tool to me. Anywho. What I have on, lips, because the lips are popping today. I am using It Cosmetics. All my makeup was gifted. It's all, all yeah, not always, but everything I'm wearing is gifted. Really cute, fun. I've, they gave me a whole bunch of different colors. And I've shared a lot of the colors too um, in my um, monthly subscription box for my oddbymonica.com subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Um, but yeah, really fun color. And then I lined it with um, this Laura Mercier lip pencil. These are the two things that I use on my lips. I'll have everything in the description box. In terms of my eyes, Urban Decay. Um, I shared this in the last affordable haul that I did. This time around, I used, um, I started with the Rustler, which is this beautiful color here. And then I did a little bit of the whiskey on the outside. So I started pretty much everything with the wrestler, a little bit of the whiskey on the outside. Then I used some of this text, which is this beautiful blue color, kind of, to, and 
uh, just a, on the outsides and blended everything in. Um, and I think it came out really fun. I like it. It's, you know, for someone who doesn't put on a lot of makeup, I think it's just, you know, it's fun. It looks great. It's pretty. It makes my skin, you know, pop a little bit. We've done the makeup. Now let's get into the fashion. First look. You guys are going to die. Well, I died. My sister sent me this look. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, this suit, everything. The fit, the fabric, the silhouettes. I'm really on this high rise, wide leg, you know, very chic, very, you know, relaxed kind of vibe. But I'm looking dressy because we haven't been able to go out. And now that I'm going out, every occasion is, a, is an occasion to dress up, basically. So... I'm comfortable because comfort is very much key for me. But in that process of being comfortable, I will look to the T every time. So these pieces, guys, everything, everything. And I feel like when it comes to suits, the obvious is to, you know, put some heels on and dress them up and put a strappy down or what. So I'm not doing that with this with this suit. I'm making it more casual. I'm giving it more of I'm, I'm heading to a... Uh, resort or somewhere exotic or you know somewhere fun and I just want to be very relaxed but I want to look very chic so let me just break it down for you guys the vibe for this video definitely boss bitch I am relaxed I am comfortable I am confident I want to look like a million bucks with all these pieces that are literally all under a hundred dollars oh I forgot to mention that all the items that I'm going to review are under a hundred dollars with the exception of this shirt that I'm wearing it's 110 so yeah, just stay tuned for me to style the hell out of these pants in my outfit of the day series. If you guys are not following that series, that is a series where I wear pieces from the halls, pieces that are gifted, pieces that I purchase at home while I'm working from home, while I'm running errands, while I'm going to events. So you actually get to see these pieces in real life, how they're wearing and all that good stuff. So make sure you tune into that series because it's a really good one. But anywho, these pants, I will be rocking the hell out of them because they are comfortable number one they are super high rise number two the the hem is great excellent fit fabric excellent um lightweight so it's not too heavy i feel like i will wear well not that i feel i will wear this all spring summer absolutely um i probably will lead it into the fall it doesn't get too cold in atlanta so i probably would still wear it in the winter maybe with pantyhose if anything um, I love the fact that you've got the band that just kind of goes to the side and it has a button on the side. It has a button on the inside. The lining is actually really cute. It's got the polka dots. Um, are there pockets? There are pockets. You've got the nice slit pocket so it lies really clean. You also have the pleating detail in the front and then the blazer. It is stunning. I went for a medium in the blazer because I want more of my blazers to have that oversized very relaxed remember what we said like we're doing very relaxed very chic very elevated is my fashion for this season so i feel like i achieve that best when clothes are not necessarily overly fitted but just fit so i'm doing the oversized blazer i love it i love the black and white the button detail i will be styling this quite a few different ways there is no slit in the back um but because it's oversized um it's not oversized per se i just went up a size to kind of emphasize on that bigger more relaxed look and then another thing i'm um reviewing skims i bought i made my first skims purchases um, I bought a waist trainer. I'm still on the fence with the waist trainer. I'll share that more with you guys in my outfit of the day because I tend to wear my waist trainers at home. Can I tell you, the fit is everything. I'm getting these in all colors that they're available in. I wore it. I didn't have to wear a bra. Um, I love the way that it's more of a scoop in the back. This, you know, square neckline is just so flattering. I don't know why. I've never really bought anything with a square neckline because it's super flattering on me it really showcases my arms and it does a great job for my cleavage so love love the bodysuit if you're in need for a good bodysuit highly recommend it in terms of shoes i introduced yellow so I, i'm wearing my yellow hermes or in flats um i wanted to add a little bit of color you know with black and white i feel like it's almost like a neutral so you can actually do a lot more in terms of introducing color to a back black and white look even though the shoes don't really show when you are walking it kind of peeps through so you get that hint of you know yellow and it just adds interest obviously they don't have to be hermes but just you can do this with every 
you know, sh colored shoe and, you know, don't hesitate to add a colored shoe to an outfit like this. Um, I also added an Hermes scarf, just throwing it on around my neck to add a little bit more color and interest because the goal is to wear it during the spring, summer. And I like adding color. I just love color in general. And I feel like this is the season where you can actually really do a lot with color. So adding that scarf just adds interest to the look it makes it very chic very very elegant um in terms of a bag i did my fendi peekaboo i see you <laughs> some people ask in the comments to say that and i do love saying it i did stop saying it i think somebody somebody was like oh why are you saying that and i and i was like oh you know it, it's fun and then other people are just like keep on saying it so i forget so now i remember anywho the bag looks great with it like i said we're this is an elevated very rich very chic outfit um i also introduced my white dior sunnies just to complete the look and if this look is not a vibe i don't know what is guys like i'm so here for this outfit it is everything everything remember how i said most of the things were really good not everything was really good this was one of the tops that i was actually very very excited about um i added this to my shot with me saturdays i was just i ha i literally had two outfits plan for this top and one of the things that I tend to do I don't necessarily try these things on before I do these hauls this was my first time trying on all the Zara stuff including this and can I tell you the struggle trying to get this top over my head it was impossible this is a small I'm I normally wear a small I wear a small in everything um, I don't think if I went up a size it would have made a difference because I could not get it over my head I had two really 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 good outfits planned for this top oh there's a zipper <laughs> and I didn't realize there was a zipper there <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna try it on again but I <laughs> yeah yeah so I guess I shouldn't say don't buy the top I would say try it on first and then look around to make sure there's actually a zipper <laughs> I swear I looked and I didn't see the zipper um, and now I see the zipper so that means it would have gone over my head actually I don't know if it would still to be honest yeah it would have gone over my head I, I can't try it on again I'm too claustrophobic but if you decide to give it a try if you're brave well <laughs> if you decide to give it a, if you decide to give it a try the black and white pants I was going to wear them with the black and white pinstripe pants also Zara, with these beautiful slides that were gifted to me from Sarah Flint. I love them. I'm a Sarah Flint ambassador, so you'll see a lot of Sarah Flint stuff with my hauls and just every day. Um, yeah, and I was going to wear it that way, and it was just going to be so pretty and beautiful and chic. And then I was going to wear it with these fabulous high-rise cut-off jeans. They're super high. Um, I got them last year from Shopbop. They are, who are they? Three times one, NYC. Um, but anywho, there's everyone's doing a cut-off short. If these are still available, I'll link them. But yeah, that was the goal, to wear it that way with a pair of white slides, a nice fedora, carry my big Fendi tote, and just, you know, relax, chilled in the summer. But yeah, I'm claustrophobic, and I'm already scarred with trying to get it on and not, <laughs> not working. But don't give up on it. It was just me. That was my era, not the top, clearly. But like I said, I don't believe that it's big enough. Anywho, on to the next. All right, so the next look features two pieces, actually, well, two pieces from Zara because the scrunchie comes with the top. I have to say in my head, the top was going to be a bit more voluminous and be a little bit more A-line and kind of create that poochy or Missoni type vibe with all the print and whatnot. It's cute, it's really cute. The, the print's really pretty. But I wasn't impressed. Let's just put it that way. I wasn't impressed with the silhouette. It's not what I envisioned it to be. Um, I think if it was a little longer and a little bit fuller in the body, then I would have been in love. I would have been like, yes. But it's still a pretty, pretty top from Zara. It comes with its own scrunchie, which is kind of fun. Um, the fabric's actually really, really good. It's also got that square neckline that I'm really loving. Um, but I have to say, the shorts, on the other hand, I love. Super high in the rise. It's actually in more of a scuba material, so it's a little thick, not too thick, but it fits really, really well. It holds you in, not too tight. 
I got this in a size medium. So great fit in the medium. I got the top also in the medium. Like I said, I was hoping for it to be a bit more billowy and more relaxed, but it, it it's not, it doesn't fit that way. It's still very pretty. Like I said, it's very pretty. You guys see the look. Um, I wear it has a set and I'm wearing it with my Chanel dad sandals. In my opinion, they look great with everything. I know dad sandals are not for everybody, but if you, you know, if you're comfortable with them, um, definitely try a pair. It doesn't have to be Chanel. Like I said, the vibe is, you know, rich, chic, all of that good stuff. So we're doing the gold. I'm doing the um, Dior choker. I'm also wearing my Laura Lombardi necklace with it. So we're doing a little bit of layers, the gold hoops, just making it very um, vibrant and flamboyant and, and fun. You know, it's, it's spring, summer, and we're beginning to get outside. So I feel like if not now, when do we get to put on clothes and just celebrate and just wear what we want and be fun? So I feel like, you know what, if you're vaccinated or if you can get outside safely or if you're having a small gathering, just have fun with fashion. Put on what makes you happy. If it means putting on a bunch of colors and prints, do it. Have fun. Have fun with fashion right now. In terms of a bag, I introduced my <laughs> Louis Vuitton Alma bag. I think this is the first haul I'm sharing this bag with you guys or uh, this is the first time I'm sharing this bag in an outfit haul I did the unboxing um, video but yeah this it was the color for me I had and I talked about this in the vlog so I'm not gonna I'm trying I'm gonna try not to repeat myself but the color just it spoke to me <laughs> and this is like my third yellow well this kind of is more on the green side so that was the justification but the color and the fact that an, uh, it's an Alma, it's a classic. This bag is extremely old in terms of its silhouette. Beautiful bag. It looks great with this look because the print actually features pink. It features green. It features a host of different beautiful spring colors. So you can really introduce a lot to this print. Um, I wanted to style it two different ways. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of me styling things more than one way in this haul. So I lost the top because we don't really love the top. And then I just introduced a white t-shirt to the shorts and the white against this print looks amazing. Um, the t-shirt was gifted to me by Tosin, to Tosin NY. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and it's just a clean classic t-shirt. Well, it's a little pricey for a t-shirt but the fabric is amazing the fit is great love it you can introduce any white t-shirt to this look it's all about you know putting white even a tank top um it's all about putting white against a beautiful print like this and just seeing how much of a pop you get in terms of shoes i did my sarah flint slides they have that fun little bow detail i love it also just complementing the white t-shirt bag i did my fendi tote um it's a sunshine tote i love this bag uh, it's been one of my, you know, favorite purchases. I literally got it right before lockdown. Um, I was able to get it like a few days before they launched the bag and I'm, I'm here for it. I love the bag. I love it together. The white t-shirt, the shorts, they pop. Um, you can do this with any white slide, any white sandal, any white tank top t-shirt. The Skims bodysuit in white would also look great with this. But yeah, the possibilities are endless. So don't hesitate to have fun with the shorts. You don't have to get them as a set. You can break them up and wear them as separates. And I'm here for it. I love it. On to the next look. This blazer is so darn cute. First of all, it's pink, which is my color. I'm a pink girl. And the fabric is amazing. The fit is amazing. Um, I love it. it. This is such a cute piece. Perfect for the season right now. The color is very much on trend. The fit is excellent. It looks good buttoned up because there's just one button. It looks good opened. Extremely versatile. I adore this piece, guys. I love it. It's almost like there's a bit of a linen factor or it's almost mimicking a linen fabric in terms of the fabric and what it looks like in, in real life absolutely stunning you've got that very light bubblegum blush pink and I'm here for it I love it um, I paired it with this bralette which I've shared with you guys in another haul also from Zara cheap and cheerful I have a bralette that I spent a lot of money on um, and I have this one that one actually is still the better fit hands down but these are great alternatives you know it's it's tr it's still a trend like this is very trendy so if I don't have to spend a ton of money on bralettes and things like this that are very trendy then I'm going to go for the less expensive option so paired the blazer 
with my um, A Goldie jeans. Um, love the fit of these jeans. This carrot trend is very much on trend. You don't have to get the A Gold. Um, but yes, in terms of shoes, I did my Amina Muwadi pumps. Love these shoes. And the snakeskin. I talk about Amina Muwadi in my shoe haul, my luxury shoe haul. And I love her brand. I love what she's doing. But I just feel like the prices are beginning to become astronomical. And I can't find any of them in my size. So this one, I feel like this was by fluke that I was able to find my size and I just haven't been able to and the ones that I do like I just feel like they're too expensive so I refuse I refuse but they look great with this outfit I have that nice neutral on the bottom pairing well with the neutral on top um which you know kind of just peeping through um and I'm here for the look it's casual it's cool it's fun you can wear this to dinner um you can wear it to just meet up with friends for brunch for lunch for anything like it's just super versatile especially now that we're really dressing up all of us are dressing up so I love this look I adore it in terms of a bag I did my Louis Vuitton bag again just because I'm very much into color blocking right now and I feel like the neon green yellowish colors I can't remember what Louis Vuitton calls the color but to me I put it against all my other yellow bags and this is definitely lending itself more to green so I'm gonna say a neon green um, and it, it just pops green against pink is just a vibe on its own and I love it so this beautiful bubblegum bright pink against the green and just ugh, this whole outfit is just like I said it's a vibe I'm obsessed I'm obsessed so yes this blazer a must and of course I had to style it another way. Not only am I reintroducing the, um, this beautiful pink blazer, but I also introduced these print pants from Zara. These pants are absolutely amazing. I have to say, I wasn't sure about these pants. I wasn't sure if they were gonna fit well, what the fabric was gonna be like, all of that, but can I tell you, the fit on this is amazing. Super high in the rise. Fabric is actually really, really good. Um, it is a crop length. I love these pants and they don't wrinkle. <laughs> I hate ironing. You guys know I hate ironing, but they came out of the box like with no wrinkles. I steamed it just a little bit because, you know, I'm trying it out for you guys. But um, these pants are great. They're comfortable. They're super high. They look great on the bum, which is always the plus. I love it. And how amazing does the blazer look against the green and yellow? love this outfit i absolutely adore it there's yellow in the pants there's blue in the pants there's just a whole bunch of color going on in terms of my shoes i introduced my valentino roman studs i adore these shoes in terms of a bag we did my pink chanel mini um mini classic i love this bag this is also my first time styling it if i'm correct uh, yes in a haul and it just looks really pretty. It complements the pink. It's just an overall beautiful outfit featuring a lot of fun color. And I'm here for it. I love it. Yay. <laughs> so for the next outfit, I reintroduced the Zara pants. But I paired them with this beautiful white crop shirt. I got this from Shopbop. This shirt is $79. And it's giving me Jacquemus vibes, but without paying the Jacquemus price. Guys, this shirt is everything. First of all, the fabric is amazing. It's nice and thick. The silhouette is stunning. You've got the strings at the back and at the front so you can really crisscross and play around with them. I love the fact that you've got the long exaggerated sleeves. This is just such a beautiful piece. I'm on the hunt to find more. I know they were almost sold out at Shop Bob, um, but I'm going to look for more. I got the small because I was I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. I wanted it to feel a little bit more oversized. So there, when I checked last, there was a large left. I'm going to still continue to look. I did look and I couldn't really find it anywhere else, but I'm going to continue to look to see if I can find more options and I will link everything in the description box. I adore this. I feel like against the pants, it looks absolutely stunning. Guys, let me know which look you prefer with the pants. Do you prefer the pink blazer with the pants or do you prefer the white? So let me know um, with your comments in the description box. I'm very curious to know like what's your vibe. For this look, I wore the yellow sandals. The yellow Bottega mesh sandals. So. This look, I love the top 100%. 
you know if you need a good crop white top i'm going to look high and low to make sure i can link this because i feel like this is something everyone should have if you're comfortable showing off just a little bit of midriff you know not a lot and that's why i'm pairing it with the super high rise um pant and i'm going to show you another way to style the top as well so keep on watching there's a lot of really good outfits and then in terms of a bag i introduced my vulgari serpent bag i love this bag it's a common it's a collaboration with mary i can't remember her last name but uh, when i saw the bag and the color i was just like oh my goodness and i talk about it you know in the unboxing vlog that i did so if you haven't seen that make sure you check it out a lot of good content right now but the blue just pops against it and i love it i'm here for it i adore this outfit it is just one of those looks where you can wear to dinner or you can wear to brunch you can do so much with it and it's so pretty the bottegas are actually really really comfortable but yes the pieces i love the pants are super comfortable the top is amazing it's a must-have love this look guys love 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 with the top again reintroducing it to this look this time i'm wearing them with these levi jeans they are high-rise bermuda shorts i love the rise in this this is probably about a 13 inch rise which is amazing because it's really coming up so for people like me that i've had two babies and i've got stretch mark i never had a stretch mark until i was pregnant but you know it happens and i don't mind showing a little bit of it but you know i am very conscious of it i'll i'll admit it whatever it is what it is but that doesn't stop me from showing just a little bit of skin so i'll show a little bit and then you know a, a nice pair of high-rise jeans like this makes me feel comfortable enough to wear something that you know is high but i'll show a little bit of skin you'll see a little bit of my stretch marks but hey it still looks good and i love it but yes these jeans shorts are everything beautiful fit there's a good stretch in them so they really hug the body really good they make your bum look great um bermuda shorts are a huge trend right now so i highly suggest that you know you get a pair in terms of shoes i did my valentino roman studs i just wanted to kind of keep the look somewhat casual you could also dress this up and i'm going to show you another way to dress up the jean shorts but for this look, I wanted to keep it somewhat casual. So we're doing, you know, the Roman studs. I also introduced my yellow Chanel 19. Um, the yellow just looks great against every ounce of this look. There's hints of nude in the bag too. So it just really picks off of the shoe. So I love this look. I adore it. It's fun. It's chic you know you can just you know wear this to so many different places so i love it i love the i love the pieces all right so i wanted to kind of you know spice up the denim a little bit more let's let's just put it that way or just add a little bit more interest or just share a different way to wear it um so i introduced this beautiful green linen blazer that was gifted to me from j crew but just giving you guys an idea of how to you know just spice it up or give it more interest or just change the look completely. So we're doing the green blazer um, with the shorts. I also included my Loewe belt also in a shade of green. Um, and then I also introduced my Manolo Blonix in um, their beautiful green hue and a mule just to kind of, you know, show different ways to kind of create a fun green look with the denim um and i'm here for it i love it i think it's just a fun outfit i think it works the pieces work very well together in terms of a bag i also introduced my louis vuitton bag also in that you know showcasing that beautiful green hue so just you know showing how to put all these beautiful green hues that are very much on trend with the shorts and i love it i love the outfit i'm here for it it's fun it's spring and you can wear it to a host of different events especially dinner okay this dress I knew I was going to love it like right as I saw it I knew I was going to love it I was not wrong this dress is everything it's knit number one so I'm very much into knits right now especially lightweight knits that you can carry into the spring so well into the summer really because spring is very cool here but you can carry this into the summer the neckline and that squarish neckline absolutely stunning very flattering I could have worn this without a well I actually wasn't wearing a bra but I ended up wearing just like the nipple covers because yeah my girls were like yeah so but you could do it without because it's a knit and it's slightly firmer around the breast area so not that it really gave me support but you know it gave me a nice shape so let's put it that way 
I love it. I love the dress. I went up a size. I did a medium in this because I didn't want it to be fitted in any way, shape, or form. I wanted it to be relaxed. Um, and I achieved that with the silhouette by going up a size. So I would say if you love this dress or if you prefer your dresses to be a bit more fitted, definitely do your, your normal size. Yeah, I love it. I love the dress. I love the color. The pink is everything. It is so vibrant. Um, I don't feel like the camera does it justice because there's so much light around me. But in real life, it is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. If you are a pink girl and you love fuchsias and just every shade of pink, you will absolutely adore, adore this dress. So I styled it two different ways. First, I did it with um, my Sarah Flint sandals. I adore these sandals, I love them. They've got the white and they've got that viqueta, that natural hue to it, um, that natural nude. Um, and I just feel like it just looks absolutely stunning against this. I also have the option of wearing a hat with it, a fedora. So I feel like, you know, it would be fun. It'll be interesting if you wanted to wear a fedora with it and make it a bit more casual. In terms of a bag, I did my pink Chanel because I just love the pink on pink. I love monochromatic outfits. So I try to create them as much as I can, uh, or at least try to include elements of, you know, a mono what would it be a monochromatic look to an outfit. So, you know, you've got the pink bag, you've got the pink dress, you've got the hat, which is absolutely beautiful. Also in that nice neutral that just really picks off of the sandals to create an outfit that is just really pretty, that is spring friendly, that is summer friendly, that is just, in my opinion, just beautiful. I love it. I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> so for the second look, um, same beautiful dress, but in this case, I changed the shoes and the bag. I wanted to actually create more of a color block vibe. So I introduced my Volgari bag and that beautiful blue, it just pops against the pink. It looks absolutely stunning. And then we did um, my Manolo Blonix in the green. It's just a beautiful, elegant color block outfit perfect for dinner. You could wear the bag as a top handle or as a crossbody. I loved the idea of wearing it more as a crossbody because I felt like the strap kind of created more jewelry around the neckline. I'm not wearing any jewelry with this dress because I just really want, I felt like it was just so pretty against, you know, my chest and whatnot and I didn't want to like create too much fuss in that area. Um, so yeah, just clean with the gold hoops. It just looks stunning to me. I feel like it's a great dress super versatile if you were going away and you needed a dress that would you know double like work for different occasions this is a great option because you can definitely dress it up you can dress it down so you could also wear the gray linen blazer over the dress for dinner you know and still carry the blue bag still wear the green shoes so there's just a lot of possibilities a lot of different ways that you can wear a dress like this so yeah I love it two thumbs up with this one for Zara like I love this dress all the way on to the next the next outfit features this beautiful J. Crew shirt that I'm wearing. I love this shirt, clearly. So J. Crew was so generous um, to send me and my kids a few outfits for Mother's Day. I think I shared that in a vlog as well. Um, so I picked this shirt, which I adore. It's in their Liberty, I think it's called, their Liberty print. I, I love it. And then I paired them with the shorts. I really just kind of wanted to create a more relaxed lounge type look vibe. So I did the shorts. I love them. Like I love the shorts. I love the shirt together. I think it would look great has a, has separates as well. White t-shirt, white bodysuit, bikini top. I'm wearing a bikini top. I, I thought this was going to be a knit bralette, but I'm like, it still works. I feel like it's still a vibe. But yes, I love it has a set. It looks great together. I'm going to share how I would style it has separates, which is what I'm wearing. That will be the last look. But the shorts with the blouse, absolutely stunning. You've got the white stitches running through. The fabric's really good. It's nice and lightweight, so you can wear it if you're going away. You can wear it at home. Super, super comfortable outfit. I went up a size with the shirt because, you know, like I said, we're on that. I want it to be relaxed and chic and all that good stuff. Shoes, I did clogs. I got my first pair of clogs. They were gifted, also from J. Crew, but I picked them and I picked clogs and I, I really, I love them. My big sister loves clogs. Um, so when I showed her these shoes, she was just like, oh my God, they're gorgeous. And they truly are. And they're very comfortable. And I tend to, I will wear them a lot. I'm actually going to wear these a lot. So stay tuned. In terms of a bag, I um, introduced my Fendi Sunshine Tote because, you know, it was definitely more of a relaxed vibe with this outfit. So I figured, you know, this would be good for the beach or good for walking around or going for brunch or meeting up with, you know, just more relaxed, you know, more relaxed events. But, you know, you definitely wanted to look a bit more elevated. So 
I love, love the set. Love it. Also, oh, I'm also wearing some jewelry that they gifted to me, this necklace and the rings and all that fun stuff. But I'll have, the, I'll have the links for everything in the description box, so don't worry about that. But yes, I love this look. I adore this look. But now I'm going to show you how I would style it if I had to go to dinner at night or if I wanted to be a bit more elevated. So yes, same shirt, got the bikini top, wearing it like a bralette type vibe still going. So that way I left all the buttons open. Um, not much going on in the neck, just we've got that one necklace that I talked about. Got my nice gold hoops from Nordstrom. Uh, I'll link everything. Got all the fun rings. But then I introduced these pants. These pants are also gifted to me from Tosin. I'm not going to review them. They're expensive. Um, but yeah, they're beautiful. They don't have to be these pants. They just have to be a high-rise pant that is a little bit more fitted through the stomach and hips, but flares out. And you just have a beautiful, very elegant, very chic, very relaxed. You definitely get that vibe of she didn't try, she just put it all on, you know. And that's, I feel like that's how we want to dress, you know. We're grown and we want to look good, we want to look sexy, but we want to look elevated. So that's how you elevate. But yes, don't come for me. I know the hems of the pants are long. They're super, super long. I haven't had a chance to hem them. When I do hem them, they will still be long. They will still touch the ground because I feel like, and I know this is not practical. I know it's not practical. I'm not a practical dresser for the most part. <laughs> I'm a fashion dresser. So I do feel like when your pants are just grazing the ground, almost a little sweeping the ground, it just elongates the body and elongates your legs. So. Either I hem them myself or I take them in, but they will still be long. I'm wearing them with my Bottega mesh pumps. I give them their own names because they're mesh and they're pumps and they're still the stretch sandal, whatever, stretch, whatever they call it. But yes, also in the nude, so it is like an extension of the pants. So when I do walk, it's almost like that is kind of an extension of the pant. Love, love, love. I just, I adore this outfit. I also introduced an old pair of sunglasses. These are my Gucci square i think they, they're still available but they, the sunglasses have blue and they've got red and they kind of have all the colors that are in the shirt so it looks really good definitely i kind of get that miami vice kind of like i'm you know in summer very tropical but i'm like up to no good <laughs> anywho yes i love this outfit bag i introduced the louis vuitton bag again guys just see how versatile this bag is. At, at first, I was like, is this bag going to be versatile? But it is super, super, super versatile. I took the strap off because I didn't really want the strap to make it casual. I just wanted the bag to look very luxe on its own. So I'm carrying the bag, top handle, with the outfit. Love the look. It is everything. And I'm very comfortable. You can be extremely comfortable and look extremely stylish and fashion forward and elevate itself. So. I, I, this is, I, I don't know, there's so many favorites. Which look was your favorite, guys? First of all, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking through the whole video and watching all the looks. Um, I appreciate you guys, you have no idea. Um, but you gotta let me know which look is your favorite, number one, and which item was your favorite? Which item do you feel like you need in your wardrobe right now? Let me know with your comments below. All the links will be in the description box. If I forget anything, please let me know, I will be more than happy to send the link to you and I will definitely update it if I forget because it's happened. So don't hesitate to comment or leave me a comment. DM me on Instagram if you need to. Don't forget to like it because when you like it, that's when YouTube knows that this is a great video, they share and all that good stuff. So like the video. If this is your first time and you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Um, also guys, check me out on Instagram because that's where I post everything. Most of my collaborations are on Instagram. I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of amazing brands that I adore, that I purchase from and all that good stuff. So check me out on Instagram, it's Odd by Moni. Check out my website, oddbymonica.com because there's fashion, there's home, there's life, there's the What Would Moni Wear page where you get inspiration for pretty much everything, brunch, lunch, work all of it's there so check out that page as well follow me on tiktok because my tiktok page is doing really good and i'm enjoy i'm actually enjoying tiktok so check it out it's odd by money as well pinterest all of that good stuff it's odd by money or odd by monica across the board so make sure you follow me thank you so much for watching guys till next time bye <laughs>